Oh, who's that? Who's that on the screen? Look, Roy. Who's that? Who's that? That. That feel. <laughs> In 2011, yeah, so that's 11. Man, I can't remember what I did like, I can't remember what I did like last week, to be honest. <laughs> I understand. Well, I, used to blur. I understand, okay, no more. I'm sure a good thing happened because this, because Philippe's album came about, the one, the one I don't know what the name is of, and uh, you know, that's, that's good, that's a, that's a good thing to happen in 2011. And what have you ditched from the original version of the song? Oh, I, I, I ditched everything. It was trash, to be honest. I mean, it was awful. So I just heard the song. I thought, man, I've got to help you out here. Um, so, yeah, no samples, no remix. You know, in fact, yeah, Philippe sent me all the really detailed like, MP3s. I was like, no, nah, none of that. And uh, just, just rewrote it, really. Apart from the bit that Philippe didn't write, which is the kind of African chant, that was really good. So I just, I took that theme. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you, you just can't polish a turd. Um, you, you can roll it in glitter. <laughs> okay, and um, so can you tell me a little bit about, you know, how do you know Philippe, the person that wrote this terrible song? Was it Philippe was a friend of a friend of my partner Liz and we met in Bethnal Green, I think, and just got talking music at some point. The, the, the problem is those, the, the times that we meet up are pretty hazy with various consumption of things. So it's really hard to know exactly what moment I met Philippe. Um, it, it, you know, each time I meet him, it's like the first time I've met him, really. I have no memory of the last time I met him. Okay, this sounds quite interesting. Can you tell me a little bit about these times? What do you remember? Like you say, it's quite crazy. What do you remember? What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your memories from these times? Well, I remember making, making some music, um, but it took a while for us to share a stage, which I know was a bit of a a funny thing being, being both musicians and producers but we never actually played any music together and then that worked out for a little bit which was really nice and I like to think that Philippe and I we pull each other out of our comfort zones musically which is good um, but Philippe needs lots of help to write you know music that's worth it you know so that's 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 why we got involved. I mean, the, cat, the guy can't write, a, he can't write an angry song. It's just not possible. He's too sunny. Um, so he needs some negativity in his life. And, and that's, you know, I'm his yin to his yang, you know. I'm more slapdash. I know that Philippe would agree with that. So if I'm writing something, I like it as improvised as possible and as quickly made as possible. Whereas Philippe's a professional. He spends a long time over his stuff long time i mean like he takes years to release a four track ep you know he just spends hours and hours just listening to the track over and over again um and i can't do that so i learned a lot about being a more precise uh producer and then just forgot it all immediately um whereas i think yeah yeah i don't know that kind of answers your question it's, it's interesting when you talk about, you know, the times when you met. Um, is there anything you would tell Philip from that time when you met? Like if you could tell him something today, you now back to Philip from that time. Is uh, there anything you, you would tell him? I tell him, don't eat the goat poo. <laughs> Thank you, don't eat the goat poo. So like if this song had a, a color or a pattern or it would be you know, something like what would you imagine it to be? Ah, oh. what well, the original track or the, the reimagined version? The original and the new one as well. Oh, well the original is grey, like really grey. And then the new one is kind of like autumn-y I think, like 
uh, sort of orangey brown. Okay, grey, the original will be grey. Okay. Very grey, very grey. Very grey, and the new one will be a Deep grey. <laughs> mm. You know, very, very quickly, I think we found out that we both liked outsider artists and odd music. We both had quite eclectic musical tastes and both love video games. And it kind of comes hand in hand, like soundtracks for good games and, and obscure artists and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, and, and, and a kind of acknowledgement that in some way, even though we're coming at music at different angles slightly, they, they both kind of influence what we want to do. No. Yeah, so that's enough. Is that enough? We're done. <laughs> Are you typing on the keyboard again? Mm -hmm.